horses on New Year's Eve, walking down my Brooklyn street. And I saw fireworks in your eyes. I was falling, falling, falling one year ago at this time. Now I'm trying, trying, trying to get back my mind. I'll take my photographs, wrap them in bubble wrap. I'm leaving for the weekend, or maybe for the year. I'll secure all my edges, all the fragile remarks that were. So you guys probably remember my friend Lee from a couple episodes back. He was helping me pull the bus out of the, when it got stuck out of the mud. And the chain broke and whipped around and caused a, oh there it is, right there. So we're going to be fixing that, see the wires. And then these shorted out against the body and caught, blew a fuse and all hell broke loose. So yeah, see this was completely wiped out here. I just cut it, so I'm going to cut it, all this frayed stuff off of there and then use these. So you put these on here, you want to, that's a butt connector there. You want to really get a good, make sure you crimp it really well or else it's not going to work. And I've had my share of these failing on me. So now I'm extra careful. Crimp it a couple of times and hit it as hard as I can. And then I like to turn the crimper over, tool over and do it again from the other side. And then after taping it up, I, I really wanted to encase it in some conduit, but I didn't have any big enough, so we'll get that uh, when we're in town. But uh, meanwhile, let's check out what's going on at the bus. Let's see what happened here is I didn't make these, uh, I already made these a little bit too big. I didn't leave enough of a gap here, and so now it, it got moist and swelled up. And I'm going to have to take that off and plane it down a little bit so it fits. I, I thought I'd show off these, uh, these hinges here. I got these, these are actually specifically for this purpose. I think I got them at Camping World, but see they, they kind of snap up that way. And uh, it turns out, if, if you're looking for something like this, Home Depot sells a hinge that looks almost identical to this, but it won't work. I tried using those. They were actually about the same price, it was just a little more convenient to buy them locally. Um, but they didn't work so um, if you're doing something like this you have to get these these are specifically RV cabinet hinges up for upper uh, upper lifting cabinet and again I'm pretty sure I got them on Camping World they weren't that expensive I don't remember exactly how much here's what they look like overhead door hinge So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this guy off and plane it down. I have a similar problem with this one. And then also these, I got these, I thought these would look kind of cool. They're antique uh, cabinet latches. Um, I don't like them. I think I'm gonna get rid of them and get something magnetic. I mean, they're kind of cool. I like that they snap shut, but they're, they're kind of old and kind of clunky and maybe get something else for those so i went ahead and ordered some on ebay here's a picture of what they're going to look like uh but they're not here yet so i guess i'll go ahead and go fix the sewage line that i broke when i got the bus stuck so there's where it broke when i got the the bus stuck and here's the rest of it here so i need to fix i need to put that back together uh, that thing's just toast i'm just going to cut it off and uh, put a straight piece in there I don't even remember why I had that T there. I don't really need that. Man, this, uh, I've never had trouble. I've never had trouble driving anything in my entire life except this bus. <laughs> and I've had a few fender benders with this thing and mostly just in this little spot here in my own driveway, but you can see it's pretty tight in here. Um, I have to back it up to turn it around. I have to back it into this turnaround here. And this is very narrow. I've, I've hit the top of that pump house roof, you know, and 
Um, I backed into this tree once and broke the back windshield and then that last, last time I went down this way too far and bottomed out in the bank. So it's kind of humbling. Um, I've driven my share of, you know, like U-Haul trucks, like lots and lots and lots of times and those are easy, but this thing, it's just so long. So I'm going to be fixing this now. And this stuff is pretty easy. I'm going to take this saw and cut off the broken part. Then I got some of this I had laying around. A straight piece and then I'm going to use the, one of those to hook up the... This will let it flex a little bit. And, uh, and I have these clamps to hold it in place. And uh, they, they actually did their job last time. They broke off instead of, you know, ripping out something. These, they just kind of break off. Or they did, they broke off. So I, they're cheap, they're a dollar something each. And I'm just gonna, just gonna cut this with my, my saw as straight as I can. So I imagine most people watching have probably worked with this stuff before, but maybe not. Uh, so if you haven't, um, this, is, this stuff is this black stuff is for drain pipe, and this stuff is real easy to work with. A lot of times they'll tell you to use a hacksaw to cut it. I just use a regular saw. I think it's easier. And uh, you just cut it to size, and then you take the the ABS pipe cement. It's the black stuff, and um, I can't. I don't have a third hand, so I can't really do this well. I'm, doing using the camera but uh, so I'll just take the this applicator here kind of like shoe polish and you're just gonna put a, put a little bit around here and put a little bit inside this fitting here and then this fitting will fit in there and you want to push it in there and just turn it and push it make sure it's seated in there and just give it a little twist and it'll it'll uh, harden in about I don't know 10 seconds or something like that now um, you're supposed to wait a while before actually putting water through it but it'll stay in place and you can continue with what you're doing so I'm gonna do that and then I've got this the slip connector connector to go on the other piece so this is this is my extension to make up for the part that broke and that I had to cut off and so that'll be glued in here, but then here's another, this is a different kind of um, slip connector. And this one um, slides over there and then you tighten it down with these hose clamps. And uh, one nice thing about that is, you, well, you can always take it apart if you need to, but it'll, it'll flex a little bit also. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now I'll have it back together in a jiffy here. All right, well, there it is, all done, good as new. It's still got some mud on it from when I got, got buried it. Let's take a look at it under here. I just see I held it on with this plumber's tape here. And then to drain it, you do is you pull out this stop. In my case, I have this to hook up a hose because I, I don't have any sewage in here. It's gray water only in my shower and my sink. So I usually can just hook a garden hose up to that and uh, drain it that way. All right, well, I guess that's it for this week. I'm not sure what I'm going to be up to next week. Uh, seems like my cabinet handles are lost in the mail somewhere. So uh, not sure what's up with that. And uh, I've also got to fix the leak in my roof and uh, the ceiling in the bathroom, try and get moved out of the house and into the bus. And, um, oh, I also got a really cool... Uh, I think it's a maple tabletop that's going to go where the van seats are and a pedestal lifted up and down. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to get all that done or not next time, but um, I'll at least uh, show you that stuff and see what it looks like. Anyway, um, hey, thanks for watching. Um, you all take care wherever you are, and we'll see you next time. Later.